welcome back to another episode of Ooh, what are we in? Like the 25th episode, 26th episode of the French Empire, the Zen New French Empire, where we are just trying to, at this point, just trying to mess up as many nations as we can. So, um, right off the bat, um, I have to talk a little bit about conquering and expansion. Um, well, my next goal, before the Chinese Empire became really big and terrifying, I was actually going to go through and go take over China and go take over this little part over here, but now, since it now costs like a ton of infamy, yeah, 11 infamy, I'm not going to do that. And I would normally go and go establish protectorate over here or establish protectorate over here or go take some land from Egypt, you know, to establish a uh, demanding concession. But right now, I'm saving up my infamy or I'm trying to deground. Ugh downgrade my infamy so that so that I can go to war against Belgium. Yes, I'm still serious about the Belgium invasion. I have not forgotten what the Belgians have done, so you know, we're still saving up for that and we still have to get we still have to like we still have to like make sure that if we do mess up and if it, they do catch us that we won't gain too much. So, um I'm going to lay on the lay low and if there is any crisis that involves war, I will be involved in it. So, yeah. And right now, I'm going to be taxing my people and lo hiring the social wages. That way, people can feel like I care about them. Ah, uh, man. Okay, so now lower. Lower. No, that's a little bit too much. Lower. So, what I'm basically going to be doing this episode is just kind of waiting for things to happen. Kind of strengthening my empire. By building as many soldiers as I can. Um, not that many, actually. Wow. Um, we'll build the one European soldier that we can build. How many troops of these guys can we build? A couple. That's good. Build a couple of these guys. I guess this will be my small unit. Panama. Oh, great. Panama City, I guess you get a unit. And I can't build any in Europe. Dang. Okay. Well, then... That stinks. And is there anything I have to worry about as terms of rebellion? No. Establish protectorate against Hyendes. Huh, that's actually a smart idea. Establish a protectorate over Hyendes. <laughs> oh, yes. Anyways, time to just slowly, slowly but surely lower the taxes on the poor. So that they don't complain as much. And, oh! Another thing I have to do is, I'm going to stop subsidizing every factory except in Ghana. This is the only fact, like in Ghana, it's the only factory I will support. Because you know what, Ghana, I decided when I was thinking about it, deserves one factory. And I'm going to make that one factory now. Just have to wait. Just, just have to wait. It's, it, they're still making it. And... Do, 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 do. Okay, there we go. It's instantly subsidized, and yeah, we can add we can add the propel states. I think back into us. No, we're still increasing. So now we're in friendly relationships with the propel states, and now two Sicilies. Okay. Yeah. And we we right now as France are looking really good. And I should actually look this up. Um something I should look up. So actually what I think I might do is have you guys actually join this army of just soldiers. So that you guys have a little bit more soldiers. And apparently one of our luxurious factories just collapsed, so, you know, the, strong, the weak shall die and the strong shall live. Oh, there's another one. The arms factory collapsed. Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. It collapsed, I destroyed it. Alright, so. What do I do? Hunting is a part of life. You must hunt in the lay of the jungle. And we must know what the knowledge 
And here we go, everyone. What does the Tom say for us? War between the Chinese Empire and Cochrane. The French Armand Zaysel, in a lot of newspaper relations with the French are calling on numerous examples of peaceful cooperation based on trust and relationship. The editors declared both nations to stand as friends and brothers. Really? Oh. Wow. So, are we friends, man? So, ladies and gentlemen, you need to learn how to adapt. Um, are we friends? Can we form an alliance? No. Oh, so we're not that friendly, but we are friends. And speaking of which, they are not a great power right now, and I could start spearing them. Am I... No, I think that's... Who's that? Oh, it's, yeah, it's Argentina. Yeah, because for some reason, Argentina had a revolt, and yeah, yeah, it's, it's all coming back to me. So let's get back Argentina into our mix. And yeah. And, ooh, small arms factory collapse again. Like I said, I'm kind of giving up on the small arms factory. You know, I supported them for so long that it's it's caused a lot of hype for me. A lot of strife. So, you know, I'm just done. They are completely useless to me because if they can't make me any money at all and I have to keep supporting them for them to live, then they're not worth it. And we just discovered electricity and we're going to now go into the combustion line so that we have all the most advanced technologies such as automobiles. And we are one of the first nations to actually start making those. That would be so nice. Hmm. And apparently, hmm, um, the conservatives are not in power. The socialists seem to be gaining, ouch, a good amount of people in their powers. I, I won't deny that. Um, in fact, besides the socialists, the more scared more scary people are the liberals and the ultra liberals who take up most of my congress and with the rebels and the conservatives just kind of looking on like what the heck is happening and what does the Tom say again crisis averted i don't know what USSR agrees grant personal memoirs and it you know i'm just gonna let you guys read that but that's actually a pretty good idea and oh my goodness wait wait wait, wait they have a glimpse into the year 2000, a prominent fu futurologist has granted an insight into the distant year 2000 AD. Speaking to our futurality concern, he said by 2000, each landed gentleman will own at least five hot air balloons. <laughs> well, <laughs> everyone, so by now we should have all owned five hot air balloons. What do you guys all think of that? My thoughts are... The future is crazy. Okay, so we have two Sicilies now. The beliefs must be respected. Increase relations, friendly. And Mettenberg goes bankrupt. It's crazy things happen there. Yeah. And, hmm, I don't trust Prussia, but I want to try to bury the hatchet with these guys. And so, let's see if we can increase relationships a little bit with you. Fact, wait, do I even? I don't even have a great alliance right now. Can I get a great alliance with China? Oh, they will accept. Yes. What? Okay, so. Ooh, that's actually really good, cause now. Cause now I have a good ally in the East against any like, imperial people, especially China, who now I just realized I should be upgrading my forts on this level. And holy shoot, my market just collapsed. There we go. And it's a good thing I did not... It's a good thing. So while the rebels just spawned, any of them... Oh, dang. Holy shoot. Okay, so can you guys let me have military access? I need to go stomp up some rebels. No. And... Oh. So apparently in Ethiopia we have rebels that I cannot get to. Because I don't think... E Egypt is still not happy with us. Yeah, they are not. I don't think they're going to... Yeah. So, seems like we have impossible rebels and intervene immediately. You guys, just start hunting. Oh, shoot, guys, start hunting down the rebels. What are you guys doing? You're not supposed to be laying around here. You're supposed to be hunting them down and killing them. Okay, let me just get these guys into order because they apparently forgot their duties. And I'll split you guys in half because that's a little, you guys have a little bit too big of an army. And you guys just start hunting rebels. You guys start hunting rebels. And there we go. Break. 
And you guys should just go over here and hopefully don't die. Actually, you guys can go right there and go crush those, crush those rebels. Okay, and we can go spear another nation. What nation can we spear? Propel seed. So yeah, now we should be able to spear them. Now, yep, yeah, now we can add them to a spear. Okay, and now we can stop, like, going so much on them and lessen our power. And, yeah, it seems like, yeah, it seems like we're crushing almost all the rebels pretty quickly. Except for the ones... Huh? What? Oh, there's our 21 troops. I was like, I thought I had some troops over there. So now I have some troops over here. Oh, I did. I have some troops over there. They must have died when the, when the, um, British are coming. Oh, speaking of which, um, when I was taking a look at the map the other day, I realized, huh. Besides for Great Britain, we're the only great power that still has our, that still has our colonial conquest. And I was just thinking, that is pretty awesome. And war between Hernandez and Belize. Hernandez is losing pretty badly. And we need to do a reform because I don't want rebels popping up anymore. And I think good healthcare system would be the best. And... Ooh, that hurt me. Wait, wait, wait. Were we covering? Are we covering? No, we aren't. Yes, we are. No. Yes, no. Yes, no. Okay. Tax all. And there's an eternal crisis again. Okay. We got another eternal crisis, everyone. And this one is the Romanian conflict. And we are going to back them. As I've said before, I do not back down for when I have a crisis. And we have Russia and the Prussians. So what do we have here? Prussians, wow, are actually more inclined to join us this time. Which, just maybe to seal the deal, um, they seem to have a core. And maybe we can help them. No, they don't want to join us, so. They don't want that, but it seems like we have another crisis developing. And it's going to be over Romania. So over all this territory right here, over Romania, and we're going to see who's going to win. Me, it's hopefully going to be the sides of, okay, Sweden, apparently Russia is trying to block me over here. Add the sphere, get here. Uh, apparently it's going to be the sides of me, me and the Prussians versus the, versus the Russian Empire. Which I think is going to be quite interesting sides, I mean... Normally during history, you never really think of the Prussians and the French working together to benefit the greater good of the world. And there's a revolution in Chile. That's kind of awesome. So, you know, this will be a very interesting time. And, you know, it might show the cultural diversity of everyone, you know, realizing that a communist government can work together with a very, you know, conservative government. You know, maybe, maybe, there's, maybe there's times for everything. And we can detopple the old monarchies of, of Russia and Austria. And I'm just going to stop talking right now because I sound like I'm a preacher or something. Okay, I'm back. Or I never really left, I just kind of remained quiet for a second to give everyone a second of thought. So, basically what happened is that we had some rebels and I added some countries to my sphere. Which is good, but kind of not good because I just realized two Sicilies is dangerously close of catching up to me again. And the Tomps. Prices collapse, all, all gain rises, and yeah, wow. We have some collapse in our in our economics right now which I'm tempting to like deal with there we go through taxation who would have known okay and let's look at the internal crisis right now how is it shaping up to be oh oh what okay so we have a 
Are they scared of us? They would not accept this. And we would gain 38. So it seems I decided to officially said it's going to be me, me and Preska versus the Austrians, which. So we have the Brick St. Gentleman's Club. A gentleman's club has opened in one of our provinces, dedicated to furthering the interests of its members, charitable causes, and the net. The nation in general, the gentleman's club is set to begin a pillar of local society for years to come. Ah, an excellent initiative. I, I don't think I would oppose something that tries to benefit themselves for the betterment of the society. It just doesn't sound like something to me. And, okay, ministry of efficiency. Uh, let's see. Invested banks or centralized planning. Um, let's get some taxes. No, taxes. Well, we're about to go to war, so what? We need some war technology. And, you know, actually, let's just get realism, because that's, that's going to be really easy. No. no. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to wait here. And 60 more days, everyone. 60 more days. And this time, I think what I'm going to do is save it right before the uh, event happens. Just because I've... I've been having really weird things. Okay, I'm making way too much money off this. Let's decrease some of my money. So I want to make sure the poor have something. The poor need to have something. Okay. I want to make sure that, you know, if this event goes sour, it does not, like, detract from my prestige or anything. So, because if it doesn't, then I may have to declare peace or white peace so that no one gains anything. Because... It's going to take me a while to regain all my prestige that I gained and kept losing because of stupid reasons. So, um, 18, 15, so, okay, right here, this is a good time to stop. We're going to save. Save. Okay, you guys ready? I'm going to act like the negotiations went all the way to the end and there was just nothing we could do. So, 6... Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Internal crisis abroaded. And for some reason, I take infamy hit for that. I don't know why. I think it might be because of, um, I'm going to war against Austria and Prussia before I'm supposed to, but I don't know. That doesn't seem like a good enough reason for them to do anything. And, oh, shoot. They're already starting the invasion of Austria. And I'll see you guys next time.